Um, anyways, Cabria, thank you so much for the hundred dollars once again. Really appreciate that. I'd also say, uh, I'd also say for story, Savannah should have truly thrown her lot in with the jailer after failing to subjugate Ayer back in Legion. Rather than just saying, oh, she's been working with him since End of Wrath, this way her story up to Legion isn't discounted. Um, Sabria, when we're talking about... So the Sylvanas thing still pisses me off quite a bit. Um, it feels like everything that Blizzard have uh, done with Sylvanas was sort of a choice of what is cool right now. Th that's literally what I feel. Blizzard yeah. didn't know where they wanted Sylvanas' story to go. They just sort of decided as a matter of fact, right? So what can we do this time, guys, to really grip people? Oh, I know, she could burn the tree down. Ooh, imagine that cinematic. That'd be really cool. And at no point did someone step in and go, but wait a second, where do we want Sylvanas to end? Do we want her to die at the stake? No. Why would people want to kill her? I, I don't know. Because she's basically genociding the fucking night elves? Maybe. Be, you know just sort of throwing it out there that could be a reason why people won't forgive her nah bro they won't even think about that what are you talking about that that's sort of the problem that i have with the whole story of savannah's it is it feels like a collection of cool stories and then once it came to the the way in which the um the way in which the story is told right and the end result of the story makes no fucking sense because let's be let's be real apocalypse how are you going to tell the story that's left for shadowlands to the point where the everyone understands what savannah's did and they can now forgive her for what she had done you can't you genuinely can't um <laughs> there will always be people that get upset but it's for me personally how i would love to see that taken forwards mm -hmm. is the she's just unrepentant she did what she had to do so she did it it doesn't matter that people got stuck in the way mm -hmm. it doesn't matter that it other people don't understand she knew what she had to do so she did it that's what i would like to see it's what i would have loved to see considering the corner that they painted themselves in yeah but it's still not great right that's still not what what i want to see when it comes to the savannah storyline there's so many different ways that they could have gone with that now they're asking us to believe that she basically, you know, and not that I didn't call this. I called Sylvanas a split soul literally the day that the cinematic came out um, where Sylvanas dies at the hands of Arthas, right? That entire cinematic where she burns the tree. On that day, and I believe you can actually go watch my, 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 either it, it was either in my reaction or it was in my analysis. But in that video, I say it looks as if her soul is being split. It looks as if the part that comes out of the soul, out of the sword is not the same as the part that went into the soul, right? This was before we even knew that souls could be split by Frostmourne. I just say it's sort of weird how Blizzard is trying to showcase this. Um, so it's not that I didn't call it. I called it. I just hate the fact that they went with that. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> that that's not what they should have gone with. Um, it's the problem that we've had for a, a number of years is that we can quite often tell exactly where blizzard is gonna go yeah is it the best choice no is it the easiest choice yes <laughs> like that's that's generally what it falls down to is yeah. for those of you that aren't on the discord a shame on you b join it <laughs> Because there are many, yes. many, many fucking theories oh, posted yeah. there that would be 10 times better than what we get half the time. Yeah, the Discord is definitely, if you want speculation, like untethered speculation, that's where it happens. Um, too often. And as Andy said, yes, see, shame on you again. <laughs> too often, what we get in World of Warcraft Shadowlands, or not just Shadowlands, all World of Warcraft storylines, is we're asked as players to to suspend our disbelief we have to suspend everything that we know in order to now adapt to the story the blizzard wishes to shove down our throats which leads a lot of us myself included and it's gotten to the point now where someone like pyromancer doesn't really want anything to do with the story of world of warcraft anymore which is sad because pyromancer was a fucking beast when it came to speculation um because it's it's gotten to the point where people are going well i can't i can't i can't fucking buy into the story the story doesn't make sense so yeah uh th that's sort of cabaret to answer your question that would be my main issue with the story um as it stands right now 
with Sylvanas. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this clip from the Sunday Night Soul Show. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch it live, the link to the main channel will be in the description down below. And of course, remember to slap a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and smash that bell. It does help out. To all of the patrons, thank you so much for your monthly support. It does mean the world to me. And of course, it makes streams like this one possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. Consider becoming a patron. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.